Well, he's been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot if he doesn't get the win tonight. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win one. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champ. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out if he's got the goods to be a champ. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce F. Lee, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Clay the Carpenter. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I would think as an athlete, these type of rabid MMA crowds are something you absolutely feed off of. Absolutely would love to fight in Canada at the Scotiabank Arena. You understand how knowledgeable these fans are because they cheer at the right time, they boo at the right time, but they appreciate everything. It's a great fighting environment. Lee gets back up. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. All right, didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. You no, know, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. I mean, right away, no feel in our process. These boys just went and started fighting. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Back and forth we go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Effective punch there by Lee. Awesome level change. Great timing. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Guido. Now he's going full mount. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Guido. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, big shots from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Guida's back in full mount. Just over two minutes to go. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Guida. He's got to be careful here. All right, side control now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Good work from the top here by Guido. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Lee. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Guida's in half goal. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Now he's got a good body position, yup. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds to go. Well doing. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Round two straight ahead. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Oh, you heard him bad. That one landed clean. Oh, huge Superman punch. Strong straight left there. A oh, hit kick attempt. It is blocked by Guido. Massive knee to the heart of the end. Looking to land the leg kick now. Lee's now switching his stance. Oh, uh, landing some big shots, too. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nicely timed kick to the body. 
body for the champion. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Guido. Doing work with the jab there. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big left hand there inside. Now we're going. Oh, with authority, the body. Like kick. There it is, he stuffs yet another takedown. Not a bad attempt by the wrestler, but he hasn't realized any success with his takedown game thus far. No, you know, sometimes, John, it's not enough. You can beat the guy to the position. The guy is just well versed enough to defend, and that's exactly what we're seeing from this balanced fighter. Guida's in half guard now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Guida. Oh, another strike lands from the top. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Mm, that was nice. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Guido. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Guido's back to the side control now. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Guido. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Scramble and go! Scramble. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Guido. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Stay aggressive. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I mean, how about those last five oh, oh, oh. minutes? Stop. Are you kidding me? All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets up, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Oh, 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been Let's efficient, go. not just with Let's his go. strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Guido. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Hand fight, hand fight. He's got to start throwing now. Lee's in half guard. Working out of the half guard here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. <laughs> yep, got to be very careful there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Guida going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Guida's back in half guard. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Big power shots landing. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Gotta be careful here. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Good solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. He's got to be careful here. Lee's in half court. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Guida ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Twenty seconds left. Good work from the top here by Guida. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Guida ground and pound from half court. That's three Come rounds. On. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward.
All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up the training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that... Oh! He's hurt bad. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure... He's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, they're stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Lee's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Guida. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands the sidekick now. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice counter left there. Throwing that jab, no good. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Guida's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Let's go. Let's cut. Lands a nice straight. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. Wind it up on the right there to Noel Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Weed is swelling now around that jaw area. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Man, has his chin been tested early. Under a minute now to go in the round. With the straight hand there, beautifully done by Lee. Big knee lands to the body. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like oh. right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. Fighter blocks the punch. 
All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly oh, what Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what hey, to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's, the he's as strike. confused as he was on his first the test in elementary school. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now Ready where tight. is the cut? Ready. Is it above the eye? Is it Ready. below the eye? Every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. It's got to change something. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find the oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Uppercut lands. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both... Oh, he might get finished here. The combinations here. Oh, big takedown with authority. So he catches the leg and immediately reacts and plows his opponent down to the canvas. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that grounded pound. Nice job off of his back by Lee. Round and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Well, that combination's gonna leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Guida. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes long. And now he's got the back. Oh, 
One minute to decide this one. Lee's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Guido. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. And they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Guida gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big shot lands for both guys. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strike. Oh, he's back. Shots continue to rain down. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies official decision is now in. It resides rounds, with Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Clay the Carpenter Guida. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying. You're crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. I, it's hard not to feel.